Hey everyone and welcome back to this class, the NumPy stack in Python. In this lecture we are going to look at where you can get the code for this course. All of the code is stored in my GitHub repo, which you can find at github.com slash lazyprogrammer slash machine learning examples. The relevant folder is NumPy class. Git is a version control system and it allows me to systematically keep all the code for this course and all my other courses updated. If you don't already know how to use Git, don't worry. There are only a few simple commands you need to know, so you don't need expert level Git skills unless you're working on a big project with many other people. In this course, there won't actually be much code inside files, since we are mostly going to use IPython, the interactive Python shell. The first thing you'll want to do is actually download the code to your computer. There are a few ways to do this. The first and worst way to do it would be to download it as a zip file. A slightly better way would be to use the command git clone and then the HTTPS URL, which is listed on the repository web page. The only other command you need to know for this course is git pull. This ensures that you have the latest version of all the code. You should do it periodically because I make frequent updates to my courses. Next, let's talk about how to install things. I typically recommend using Linux or Mac. The Mac is a little better in this case because it's usually less buggy than Linux, and it also comes with all the libraries we need pre-installed. If you want, you can update them using the commands sudo pip install minus capital U numpy, scipy, matplotlib, pandas, and ipython. On Ubuntu, the Linux distribution I recommend, you can't use pip or easy install to install the libraries we need. You'll need to use the aptitude package manager. You can do it all in one line with this command. So what do you do if you're on Windows? My recommendation is to use a virtual machine. I've added an environment setup tutorial in the appendix of this course where I walk you through the process of setting one up and installing everything. The reason I recommend this is not because I hate Windows, but from real life experience working with clients. Every single time a client of mine tries to install these Python packages on their machine, which has Windows, it usually ends up taking hours of time. So it's up to you whether you want to spend that time or not. I've heard that Anaconda is good, but I can't vouch for it 100% because I've never used it myself. Another reason I used to recommend against Windows is because Theano and TensorFlow are not officially supported on this platform. That doesn't mean you can't find instructions for installing them and making them work, but it will be hard and it may take you a very long time. I know a lot of people are interested in TensorFlow because it's Google's new thing and previously it was not supported on Windows at all. However, TensorFlow is under active development, and from what I've seen, they are working on making it work with Windows. At the same time, it's not available yet, so you'll still have to wait. In any case, we are not actually using Theano or TensorFlow in this course, but it's good to prepare if you know that you'll want to go in that direction in the future.